Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here to give you this Dermafrac Masterclass, and I'm very excited to do this because there is a lot to cover. So many of you have been messaging me, asking me questions about the Dermafrac, why I like it, how do I get the results that I get. Well, if you're a skincare professional and you want to exfoliate and infuse at the same time at depths of 0.25 and 0.5 millimeter, then you definitely want to stay tuned to my Dermafrac Masterclass. And for those of you that are just joining, uh, you may not know who I am. I'm Stephanie Halvik. I'm a registered nurse and I educate and distribute the Dermafrac. And I'm here to show you why I absolutely love it. And it has changed my practice when it comes to microchanneling, microneedling, uh, collagen induction therapy, multi-trepanic collagen actuation, whatever you like to call it, uh, exfoliation and infusion. Well, then stay tuned because I have a big show for you today with protocols, the serums, ingredients in the serums, everything you're going to need to know about your Dermafrac. If you've purchased a Dermafrac and you're training with me, this is a great adjunct to have prior to the one-on-one -on -one training that we do with models. And if you're someone who owns a Dermafrac, you will be refreshed and maybe revitalized in your Dermafrac practice. So, um, and let me know, oh, I see there's a lot of people already here. That is awesome, terrific. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, everyone. Wonderful. Okay, so I don't want to um, belabor this because I have a lot of great stuff to show you. Okay, so a lot of you may not even really know what the Dermafrac is, but Dermafrac has been around for many years and it has looked differently. Um, it is a form of exfoliation and infusion. So how about I just show you here what it can do? And if you are someone who um, would like to know more about the vacuum-assisted microneedling, then this is it. This is just a very close-up picture in slow motion where you get the idea that you can see each time that is spinning around in the handpiece is bathed with special serums that will deliver whatever needs to be delivered for that client's condition. So without further ado, how about if we look at a few of the things that Dermafrac can do with regard to our before and afters. But okay, so I know some of you have texted me this week, wow, I have this other Dermafrac. So will this master class be the same thing? And I said, yes, it will. This Dermafrac on the left-hand side is the um, later model. It's very large um, and it is manual. Where the Dermafrac on the right is digital, uh, a little easier to control the suction. Uh, you'll still get the exact same benefits. It's just that this is a little bit more compact and here it is. It is compact, but it's a heavy weight. This motor in this Dermafrac is amazing. So yes, if you have the older model, please stay tuned because it will all pertain to you. We use the same handpiece, the same serums. Uh, everything is the same. It's just that yours is a bit larger, maybe just a bit noisier. So let's see what the Dermafrac can do. So these are my clients that uh, we're looking at right now. And you may use these photos if you like. We're gonna go through some of the treatment protocols on these clients that you're seeing here. You're going to see their serum, how many visits it would take, what's their aftercare, all of that good stuff. So, um, and if you are my Dermafrac users, please feel free to use this video. You'll be able to uh, look at this slideshow 
in its entirety at your leisure in my group. So make sure that you go to Dermafrac on Facebook. Here's just um, a quick little video as well so that our clients know what to expect. It looks fairly tame and comfortable. And this is a nice approach on the skin. Now this was taken, I'm just gonna stop this for a second. That was taken during a class. I hold classes at my office in Cape Charles uh, for the Dermafrac. So if you like to come and train with me, you are more than welcome. This was uh, a fellow nurse that I was training and she was moving very nicely, slow pace, uh, working on some acne scars. She did a wonderful job. It's a very easy procedure to master um, and get your clients the results that they need. And if you have questions, you can certainly just put them right in the chat box and I'll be checking them out from time to time. Hey, Steffi and Joe, yes, new to Dermafrac. I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Brenda, awesome. Oh, Brenda's not that new to Dermafrac, but um, hopefully you'll come away with a few tidbits today, all of you Dermafrac users. So take a second, people that are watching that maybe are not in my special group, you know, um, I have a good reputation in this field. When I sell, distribute, I educate my clients and I want to support them 100%. One way that I do that is to have a Facebook group where we can pop in, ask questions, showcase our uh, wins with Dermafrax. So, oh, and Nancy and Kathy, awesome. Melanie, wow, I have a lot of great Dermafrax users here. And I'm really looking forward to seeing some good before and afters from you guys. Make sure you pop them into the group. But this group is really great. So if you're not in the group, take a second, go to Facebook, because you might be watching this on YouTube or LinkedIn, but probably my RN Faces Facebook page is where most of you are watching. And if you're not in my group, please go ahead, join, answer the questions, and we'll get you access to it because you will get the protocols. You'll get uh, social media advice. All of those good things are always in my group, and we have great experts in there that can always assist you as well, just in case maybe I'm off doing a live presentation. Uh, okay, so. The biggest question I get, because I have been in the industry so long, I have started doing microneedling since the tender year of 1993. Although I did do it with my permanent makeup machine back in the day, it was a form of microneedling and it has progressed over the years, different devices. And I have been privy to those devices, used those devices and actually liked them. I always got results, but um, the reason I like the Dermafrac over any other device out there are a few things. I am a nurse with a skincare business. I don't necessarily do luxurious treatments. I do skin altering treatments. I treat the integrity of the skin. My clients want to come into the office and they want to get out of the office. They don't have the time for an hour and a half facial. That's not what I'm about. So if you're someone that likes to capitalize on your time in the office, a 30 minute treatment is Dermafrac. Now, other procedures that I did with a pen, with a Procell, with rollers took longer. We had to numb our clients. So that took time. Um, and the consumable cost of a lot of different devices can be high. So this is the lowest cost of a USA made machine. And that's important because a lot of the pens that are out there, a lot of the machines that are out there, they um, come from foreign countries and your cartridge might be a dollar. Well, you're not getting probably really great quality um, tines on your on your 
cartridges. So I prefer that I get my uh, equipment supplies from the USA where I know where they're coming from. So for the lowest cost in the USA, Dermafrac is it. Um, also, the reason, another re couple reasons, it's exfoliation and infusion. So you can do microdermabrasion and yet you can do infusion at 0.25 and 0.5. So that is a big win-win. You have two different procedures in one machine. There is no need to numb. And we'll go into the reasons why you don't need to do that. I needed to numb before. So that was a higher cost and a cost to my time. Also, I don't use a sheet mask at the end of my dermafrac procedure. Not to say that you, you can if you like, if you like to lux it up a bit or you just want to doll it up, maybe that's what you love to do, but you don't need to because as you infuse, the skin is super hydrated. There is not that dry, burny feeling that normally accompanies these types of treatments. I've had them all and this is totally different. It is for me, the most efficacious with the quicker results on the market. And with any of the other devices, yes, you're going to get results. There's no doubt about it. But are you going to get them quicker? Are you going to uh, get them in a time frame that really excites your clients? And can you flip a lot of your clients from, say, microdermabrasion, dermaplaning over into the world of dermafrac? Well, yes, you can. I'm going to show you how my practice exploded. And now I'm doing so much micro needling, micro channeling, micro uh, multi trypanic collagen actuation, whatever you want to call it. I'm doing so much more now and my clients are getting better results as they leave my office. And this is a very, uh, you can duplicate this procedure so easily, especially if you are in a day spa, med spa, where you have multiple skincare professionals utilizing the same equipment. There should be no reason for clients to prefer one practitioner over another. It is so duplicatable that everyone can do it the same way, same schematic, same results. So for that reason, it is a really great piece of equipment for that med spa or day spa as well. Um, and let me just, okay, so this is kind of what you're thinking when you think about suction assisted microchanneling. You have suction that is pulling up the skin, and then you see the needles, the tines, the um, protrusions into the skin. And it is an exact science at that point because the suction actually pulls that up very, very nice into uh, the chamber where it is being bathed with the particular serum that we will use. Okay, let me see if there are any questions. Oh, hey, Penny. Yay, everybody's here. This is awesome. Okay. Um little technical difficulty here. Let's see. Okay. I'm back. So um, let me get to the next one here. Okay. So um, the micro needles, you know, they create those micro channels, right? It's under tension. So as this skin is lifted off the bone, off the forehead, off the upper lip, it is much more comfortable than it ever was. When you're pounding onto the bone on the forehead with stamp devices, or you're even rolling, you're actually creating more pressure on the skin, the pens that you're on. You're not actually pulling up. So with this device, you're going to actually pull up so that the skin comes up into the chamber. Very rarely are we pushing on this device. 
only when we're trying to be a little bit more assertive if we have an issue with the skin, maybe some acne scars, maybe some hyperpigmentation, things like that, that you will see. So that's why it's so much more comfortable than any of the other devices, because you're pulling that skin away from the face. And that's what makes it super comfortable. And no one else can say that. So um, the this is what the handpiece looks like. And for those of you out there, a lot of you do know that. But this is the silicone handpiece, very easily cleaned. And then you have your, your serum here. And this is how it will come to you in a box. So when you purchase your serums and you get plenty with your starter kit, they come in a box like this. And you'll see the back. This happens to be a growth factor. And on the back, you'll see where it says 500. Well, that is the 0.5. And if it was 0.25, it would say 250. So when you get these boxes, you'll be able to have a full treatment with the syringe. And this will slip into the handpiece, as you will see. And I have a full video on how to do that. And then the head right here. So we can attach all that to the handpiece as you see right here in the picture. So also when you do get your um, initial shipment, uh, depending on which serums you like, as I go through this video, you'll see which ones you might like the most and uh, need to reorder, but you also get a training kit in your um, Dermafrac package. There are four um, serums, four, headpieces. And this is so that you and I can go ahead and do some clients one-on-one -on -one and um, get your hands going. You know, it's very important. Even though this looks very easy, I do love to help guide my clients because I want to make sure that they're getting the most value out of their dermafrac for their clients. It is an easy procedure, but there are some certain things that I love to help you with. Body positioning behind your client all of you that know that I've trained with you, you know it's so important to stay behind the client's head, how to hold the hands. You're going to see all that, but it's very important and it does help your treatments go a little smoother. So for those of you that have purchased, please hit me up for your training. Grab that model, grab two models, and let's get fracking. So this is what the headpiece looks like close up. It's housed in plastic and the wheel spins. And this wheel is very thin. So you can get into those fine lines, fine wrinkles, and really help to infuse the serums that I'm going to show you into the skin that will help flatten those out help hydrate the skin. Maybe you want to get that kojic acid into the hyperpigmentation. Well, these are the needles that will do that for you. Um, let's see. So I have a video here that I'm not going to bore you with because it's going to be right here in the slideshow, which you'll be able to look at. And also this video is on my YouTube, so feel free to download that. But I will just give you a couple minutes here. Okay. I want to show you when you get your Dermafrac, um, I will show you how it goes together, but it's always great to try it out on yourself. And so here yeah, I'm doing a little micro dermabrasion yes. with uh, one of the really bigger hand pieces where you can cover a lot of real estate very quickly. So if you're new to microdermabrasion, I will help you out with your schematics and how to choose the proper grit, whether it be fine, medium, or coarse, because our hand pieces are um, are very. Um, user-friendly, the so handpiece so is ergonomically to, correct, um, so you can microdermabrade all day long and your hand you really won't get tired. But it is nice to try less, that out um, on yourself. You can see how the suction works it. before you actually get to a client. And then let's it's just see this next part here where, um, just want to, okay, so and even when it comes to the microneedling. Let's go ahead and put this together. Demonstrate this. It'll start out on three, so and you're going to want to hold it 
so that the little there's a little hole at the bottom of your um, cartridge there. And you're going to want to roll that on your arm. You want to practice doing it by not pushing on your arm, but lifting. The cartridge itself, the handpiece, is gravity dependent. So your handpiece should be always in this position. You may be in different arenas. Maybe I'm at an event. Might and I'm not on a on table, treatment table. You may see that I'm upside like down with my cartridge very rarely, but it does happen just because of the way it's positioned. But this is the way the serum comes down into the chamber um, and the suction actually helps lift that skin. So you can experiment with the different settings. The settings go from one to five, one being the lightest, five being the strongest suction, really pulling that skin up into the area where it will be bathed. So. And give it, it a whirl it on a your arm, start you, um, getting you that feel for lifting the skin instead of pushing. If even you notice that my hand is held know, back towards the back of the handpiece, that will ensure skin, that you're not rough bone, on your client's skin. So if you do this, you'll work. lift it nicely, and the client will be very comfortable. If you find that they're a little uncomfortable, of course you can always lower the suction, Pay so attention years, as to my the positioning like of your hand. Right Let's get there. going to the next slide here because there is a lot to cover. Um, when it comes to using the Dermafrac, we also want to know how to clean our Dermafrac. Well, I use my cavi wipes on all of my different parts that are super slick, but the back filter, where's my filter? Oh, here it is. The back filter, you will find that when you use the serum, the excess serum will be collected in here. And so I want to show you a few things about this because it's important. There's a little silver ball at the bottom. That is just simply to ensure that you don't overfill this waste container. As the waste comes in here during the day, say if you're doing five dermafracs in a row, you're going to want to uh, empty this. And it's so easy. I'm going to show you how. But this ball is important because as it gets up to a level, it will stop the flow. So this way it won't go into the machine. Um, and that's why that little silver ball is there. And I know some of you say, oh, my gosh, I opened it up and I dropped it down the drain. Uh, simply called Dermafrac. You can have that replaced. You can use it without the ball. You just need to pay attention to your serum levels. So let me just show you very quickly how we're going to clean this Dermafrac. Hello, Dermafrackers. I'm here to show you how to clean your machine between and, and let me know of the day. If so you can in between clients, the, I um, always have a little cup if you can hear the video so give me a thumbs up if you can't hear system. the video give me a uh, thumbs down all, and i will marry i keep mine on a um, oh, hey, non-porous mayo oh. stand and the hand pieces are white okay so silicone. um i do this have questions about the cost of the uh, procedure and itself the but um let me just show you let me get into this video a and little bit more so for those of you that already have the dermafrac if you're just really My wanting to get to the meat and potatoes and of this okay you've got to use your um cavi wipes really get in there this, but now what we also need to do is nice go ahead and clean the line of our um, and tubing closed and i do system, that at the no end of each day well, this way so i can hang it up and let it air dry aside. just like with any other implement that you're using you always need to have a great uh, cleaning and again, option for it. Let me one move along a little bit here. Rather than going and into the skin, these videos are in our clean clients. Group. You can sit so simply. You will see how go I go ahead, ahead and, and, and empty, it, say, I empty a, the serum. Um, little cup like this 
so that you don't have to run to now the sink. I want to so go ahead and is I'll take draw some alcohol here. up into the tubing so that it goes into the, the filter the and end. this way I know that the tubing inside is really you well really cleansed and you can use soapy or, water um, if you like but I do like the well. alcohol even so after a little soapy water wiped, it just I'll helps to um, drive the soapy water out and dry quickly inside the tube. Take the so I just put it on and you'll see that it goes right into and run um, this through my system. the filter area. And, and it's very the simple. The and so this full video is um, in half the group. Cup, so feel free to go ahead to and um, and it's actually pinned in the group of Dermafract. In so my I'm clean area. Here so uh, that is ready to go. Paint dry all day. Let's look at some protocols. Oh, so, okay, but before we do that, let's do a little troubleshooting. Okay, so you get your machine, you put it together. Maybe you've been using it for a few months, but all of a sudden, no suction. What do you think happened? Okay, so if you turn on your machine and you can hear the motor going, you've got your tip on it, you've got your serum in there, you're putting it onto the skin and there's no suction. Well, there, there's a couple things that could be happening. So um, for one thing, it could be that this headpiece could have a crack in it. And so it's important not to manhandle these, um, hand, these headpieces. Um, you don't want to drop them, obviously, but they are plastic. So if you manipulate these too much onto your handpiece and really squeeze them, you could create a micro fracture in, in where it's put together. And at that point, there's not a full circuit of suction. So if there's not a complete circuit, then there's that break in suction. You're not going to have it suctioning at the point of the uh, roller. So important not to uh, break them. So don't fret when, if something like that happens, simply get another um, roller head, try it. And that usually is 100% the reason why it happens. Also, it could be that your filter could be full. And for those of you that don't check this regularly, like every day, you've got to empty it a few times um, if you're doing a lot of dermafrax. So as this level rises, this silver ball may occlude the hole and stop the suction. So those are the reasons why your suction would not work. Um, the motor is a workhorse. And if you, for some reason, turn on the machine and the machine is not lighting up and the machine is not uh, roaring at you, well, then there must be something wrong with the machine. And of course, uh, Genesis Biosystem, very user friendly when it comes to maintaining any type of equipment. You will not have to regularly service this machine at all, but that's just one thing that can happen. Okay, so uh, some of you say, wow, my serum, it just ran out so fast. Well, you could be moving too quickly um, and or maybe you're doing more dermafracking than you thought, but your serum should not run out fast. So rule of thumb, you can make four passes on the face, vertical, horizontal, diagonal, and another diagonal. So four passes on the face will get you through a syringe like this maybe just a tiny bit left over, or you may be that practitioner that, um, like me, I've turned a lot of my clients from a straight up micro, uh, like a dimatome hydrofacial into a dermafract procedure. So I'll do the face, neck, and decollete, two passes, and still with the same serum. So with dermafract, you want to move at a nice clip, not too fast, not too slow. If you move too slow, sometimes you're going to have a lot more serum left over than you think. And if you're moving too quick, you may run out too fast. So there's a real happy medium. 
get used to using it. Uh, try it out on your arm. And again, get your models together and call me up because I want to help you out, especially if you're having those issues. And people always want to know, can they reuse it if they have some serum left over? No, you're charging that client for that full procedure. Um, if you have a little bit left over and say they're under your deep red LED for a few minutes, go ahead and dermafrac the hand. Use that as your um, over servicing your client, making them feel a lot better and utilizing that extra serum. And then, OK, so what if you're on the other end and your serum ran out? Well, if you are using a serum like I do in my office, eight in one bio serum from Definage, you all have your different lines that you may use. Ask the uh, company, which is a micro needling friendly um, product. And you can put a little hyaluronic acid on their hands and roll even if your cartridge is dry this way you'll still get some serum in it won't be as infusing as it is like this but it still will be servicing your client and you'll be able to um, really give them a good treatment uh let's see here and let's see if there were any questions about that i did have a question about each of these boxes um, the box costs, so you're consumable for this. Like I was saying, I feel like it's one of the lowest USA made. And when I say USA, I always feel like I can trust my products more in the USA. If my machine needs servicing, I won't need to send it overseas. Uh, we have video of these being produced right in Texas. So you know that they're um, high quality. You can see uh, the cleanliness of the clean room where these are all produced. Uh, but this for a 0.25 combo tip and serum, it is $38 currently. And for a 0.5 it is $42 currently. So um, for me, without any other um, products that I'm using, except for my back bar, which is a cleanse and alcohol, and of course, um, my deep red LED that I use after, I'm still at 30 minute treatment. So no numbing, no sheet mask, those things can add up when you're doing these types of treatments. So when you're deciding, should I think about Dermafrac, that $42 for a $200 30-minute treatment sounds pretty good to me. Some of you do charge more than that, and that's fine too, because clients really um, they have the expendable income for these procedures if they're efficacious, they see results, but more importantly, they don't have as much time to be in your office for a full blown microneedling procedure that you see out there where you've got to numb for 20 minutes, you've got your sheet mask for 20 minutes, the procedure takes time, it's all time consuming. So. Uh, let's talk a little bit about their serum. So I love their serums. And of course, you can also use your own serum when it comes to Dermafrac. If you have that specialized serum, so long as it's a little bit more liquefied like this, you can certainly use it. Or even your PRP can be utilized in these cartridges and you can get these empty. So um, the different serums that they have are fabulous. I have every list of ingredient, ingredient in this slideshow at the bottom. I didn't want to bore you all with that, but if you um, are loving the rejuvenate, which I do, or the hydrate, the hyaluronic acid, for instance, is a very small molecule. So it really gets into the skin and hydrates the skin super nice. The growth factors, human synthesized, you'll be able to read about that. The Lighten Serum is a kojic acid. Clarify, of course, would be salicylic acid. Uh, your vitamin C, without saying, and your custom serum for those empty cartridges. So you can um, round out your practice with however and whatever types of clients you see the most. Like 
for instance, me, I very rarely use a clarify. If I'm doing a, an acne client, I will usually use a different type of treatment, but I will show you a client that I did use clarify on intermittently with other serums. So at the time I thought maybe the clarify would be nice for her as she does tend to break out a little bit, but my big go-tos hydrate, rejuvenate, lighten, and growth. I use those on a very regular basis. And for those that are watching, yes, you know that when you've been in my office training, that's what I'm always reaching for. Uh, let's see here. So if you have any questions about those after you read the, um, uh, the ingredient list below, feel free to reach out to myself or Genesis Biosystem if you have questions regarding the um, ingredients, but they're very transparent about what is in those. So, and if you're a PRP, -er, then definitely you're going to want this system. It is a very easy system to use. So it actually will deliver it better into the skin than drizzling it on and, and using your whatever device on top of it. So this will get that PRP exactly where you want it to go at that magical 0.5 millimeter depth or 0.25, but I know you PRPers are using the 0.5. Let's talk a little bit about the vacuum assisted microdermabrasion. And that's another reason why I love Dermafract because it's very small, right? So you know me, I do a lot of, um, uh, events where I take my machine with me and it's so small and portable. But one of the great things is that you have a two-in-one procedure. You've got microdermabrasion, which everyone knows about, and also the infusion. So with the dermafrac. So if you're someone who hasn't done microdermabrasion before, and this may be your first rodeo, you want to devise your microdermabrasion package. And we'll talk a little bit about the Dermafrac and how many treatments and what they cost and, and my protocol for my clients. But for those that do microdermabrasion, it's one of the more well-known procedures in the industry. So if you are starting out and clients see that you do microdermabrasion, they will immediately be drawn to you because they know about it. It's not a procedure that frightens them or makes them think, oh, I must, I'm, probably have to be numbed to do that. They've either had it done someplace else, but they know about it. So you need to devise your own microdermabrasion package doing uh, four or I don't ever really like to go above four procedures when I'm doing dermafrac at all or any procedure. If you have a high number of procedures associated with a result that you're giving on social media, it may turn your clients off thinking, wow, I've got to get eight procedures just to get that effect. Besides the cost, it's, it's a time consuming thing that the clients don't want to get into. So that's why I love dermafrac because I've gotten results so much quicker in a short time frame instead of doing multiple, multiple and dragging those out months and months. I'm going to show you how I do it quickly, effectively, and it keeps the clients coming back for more and quickly. So it's in their wheelhouse as far as their time frame during the week, the other things that they have to do. So, um, and this is just a quick view of what this looks like so how do you all with like this control? device, just like any other microneedling device. We, um, the suction weather's been nice too. And the crystal impregnated pad break up the skin, the, the outside suction. layer, and that suction sweeps away the dead cells and you're left with more vibrant, pink, healthy skin that's ready to accept all kinds of good products that you have in your office or a nice sheet mask, whatever it is. But microdermabrasion is the bomb. Everybody knows about it, and it can be a very good practice builder for you if you've not done microdermabrasion, 
uh, construct your, um, your package deal. And if you're in our group, go and check out how other people have packaged up their dermafrac treatments with the microdermabrasion and the infusion. So let's move on here, but it is just super great. I'm going to show you a result of someone in my office. This was just this past month and a half. I did have a nurse training. So one of our nurses, Hannah out there, had um, her hand in this one. So this nice lady, uh, she wasn't really a candidate for the dermafrac. Um, she had had an injury to her forehead. So um, I went ahead and did a dermaplane microdermabrasion, four passes, and deep red LED. So she's a once a month client. Um, truth be told, in between her first treatment and this after her second treatment, she did have some injections uh, in the forehead. So she was really happy about that. But I want you to notice the difference in the skin, the texture, um, even under the eyes. It really looks so much better. And this is just with microdermabrasion. This wasn't dermafrac, just the microdermabrasion. So you can take your uh, procedures to the clients that don't necessarily need dermafrac, but want more refreshing. And that's exactly what we did for this young lady. And she was super thrilled. And unless she has some hyperpigmentation or more lines and wrinkles, I think we would just stay with microdermabrasion. It makes her happy and, um, and it's cost effective as well. So let's get on to a few protocols like here. Um, a few of, oh, hey, a few of the gals out there watching right now. Uh, oh, Melanie, right there. The growth factor, which type of clients benefit most with that? Okay, so getting back to the serums a little bit. Um, growth factor actually could be for everyone, right? But, um, oh, but it is a little more expensive than the 42. I believe it's $58 per treatment. So that may um, be a deciding factor for you with clients. So for instance, uh, Melanie, this client, which you, I think, had a good hand in her treatment. Uh, we, and we'll get to that too, because we did um, some, we did growth factor on your treatment when you were in the office, Melanie, but you can use for the, um, acne or the, uh, acne scarring. I would prefer to use rejuvenate or growth factor serum, either one. I don't know if I can quantitate which one actually works better, but they both have great components for remodeling the skin as well as just the point five depth that we're going is going to help as well. So growth factor for me, Melanie, would be um, hair growth and um, the acne scarring is my choice for those. Now, for this nice lady, um, because she had acne scarring, we did four passes. We did Dermafrac with 0.5 multiple passes. And when I say multiple, I mean four. We went this way, horizontal, diagonal, and yet another diagonal. And that gave us all of the coverage plus some different passes, a little bit more assertive passes, and what we call frack kisses, which just goes right over the affected area. We also did illuminate for five minutes. And for someone like this, my protocol is once a month. When we're remodeling skin for texture issues, I like to really wait that full month because it does help with the remodeling of the skin. So if I did it every two weeks, like I do for some treatments, it may be too many treatments that didn't need to be done because I would... Um, if I just waited a little longer, I'd see the same result. So I don't want to overutilize my client's schedule or um, their pocketbook. So for the acne scarring or any type of scarring, once a month, 
And this is the serum that I use. But of course, it's a very subjective treatment. You may have something that you like up your sleeve. And if you do, that's what my group is for. Join the group, Dermafrax, so we can share our wins and ask our questions. It really does help. So let's move on to another one here. Okay, so uh, again, I train a lot of nurses in my office to utilize this. Let's look again at how um, Suzanne from uh, Shinkatig is handling her Dermafrac during training. You can see she's moving nice and slow. She's going uh, vertical. She may do a horizontal. She may do a diagonal. You can see that the client is nice and pink. And in some areas, you know, smaller areas like the chin, see how a little bit more diagonal gives you a few more passes. So um, you can get creative with it. And let's see the same client um, with regard to the acne scarring it's during really training. Mm -hmm. so I'm training yeah. um, yet another Slow nurse is here. And this is the frac kisses so right mm -hmm. over the acne so scarring. So I would How take that my you, suction Heather? up to so five, which is the okay, highest. Good. Normally, mm -hmm. I'm at we three really doing my passes, here. maybe one or two under the eyes. But when it comes to changing or remodeling the skin, I need to really bring it up to five. I like to stretch the skin a little better. This, Yeah, there we go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Because that opens that skin up and allows um, the protrusions to get all the way to point five. And the client is comfortable, has had no numbing um, cream at all. You can see the serum being brought down into the handpiece here and delivered right into the scars. And so I'm after we did our four passes, right now here? we're kind of doing what I call um, giving mm -hmm. a little more love to the areas right that there. need more attention. Mm -hmm. And so this is what you'll want to do at the end of the treatment. Much more Not tough. if it's a red carpet treatment uh -huh. where clients want to look beautiful for that evening or yeah. the next day. But this is to actually help the integrity of the okay. skin so we'll and smooth this that out. Like on her cheek area. So Plus, then she's got pretty right good there. there. Let me move Let me on. And yeah, let's yeah. see if. Right? And we're going to utilize the rest of the serum in the syringe. So this way, so she's really getting a great kiss. treatment, over servicing, and mm -hmm. getting all of those mm -hmm. areas well okay. bathed with. And here we were using Rejuvenate during this training. So we got it really on to. Okay, so here's another protocol I like to uh, think about. Now, this nice lady, 75 years old, and she was currently a. Um, Dimatome Hydrofacial in my office. And I really wanted to get a hold of her with my Dermafrac because I thought it would make a better difference in her skin. And boy, did it ever. So this is how, if you have a practice where you're doing these types of procedures like microdermabrasion, dermaplaning, other exfoliating procedures, and you want to take your client to the next level, well, you've got to introduce them to Dermafrac. Now, I've done these procedures for years. I haven't worked with Dermafrac for years, but I have definitely wanted to do way more microneedling, microchanneling, whatever you want to call it, procedures. But I was hampered by the client that didn't want to uh, have to be numbed, just having to be numbed puts thoughts in clients' heads like, oh God, I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't need that. I don't really want to do that. Plus they're in the office a lot longer and it just conjures up different thoughts of something being uncomfortable. So when you can tell the client that, look, I've got this great procedure and it's going to infuse the proper serum into the skin. Yes, it will be a little prickly, but that's all it is. It's not something that I'm going to need to numb your skin on. It's the next level of skincare for you to get results. And my clients have tried it and now they don't look back 
on the Dymatome Hydrofacial, which I love that machine. I've already had to sell one machine off because I wasn't using it enough in the office since Dermafrac came along because now that part of my business has exploded. Um, Dermafrac is my number two procedure. You all know that Skin Classic is my number one, but the Dermafrac is my number two procedure. So for this protocol, this nice lady, this was just one treatment. So when I when it comes to me doing protocols or giving my clients options, what we should do, how shall we map out your skincare future here? Well, I'm pretty gentle on my clients unless they really have a big issue. Now, this nice lady is 75 years old. So I have to take a step back and think, okay, she's 75. I'm not going to get like, um, rejuvenated skin to make her in her fifties, but I want to have her happier with her skin. And that only took one treatment. Now, would I have liked to have seen this client every two weeks for maybe three weeks? Yeah, I would have. Maybe if she was uh, the mother of a bride next month, I might say, you know what, let's do a treatment today and let's do another one in two weeks. That way I know I could get really favorable results. But look at this. This was one month in between. This was amazing. Plus, you know, as skincare professionals, it's not all about what you do in the chair, but they also have to have good at-home skincare. And for me, it's Definage. So my clients that do Dermafrac, it is a requirement that they actually use um, Definage during their healing time and beyond if they want to maintain and also um, clear up other skin issues. So uh, whatever you're using in the office, make sure your clients also do at-home skincare, which is very important. But this was just one month apart. So it really um, blew me away. Uh, I did incorporate she had some milly, as you can see on the forehead. I did incorporate a little um, skin classic for that type of treatment, but she was very helpful. So now she comes in once a month for these procedures and is super happy with the way her skin looks. So you also want to manage expectations. Um, her expectations weren't super high. I never told her, oh my gosh, this is going to smooth out every line and wrinkle. Obviously, you can see it didn't, but it made it so much nicer for her. And her friends have already told her, this This was back in June, but um, have already like uh, complimented her on her skin. She has referred me clients. So that is a big part of this business as well. You will get a lot of referrals because it doesn't hurt. It's a quicker procedure and you will get results. Let me move on here to another. And let me see if there are any questions in the chat. Uh, I got Melanie's. If anybody has any others, please let me know. Um, and I'm going to hide that one. Hey, Deanna. Oh, okay. I know you just did buy the Skin Classic. Oh, and ProCell. I used to use the ProCell myself, Deanna. Um, I just found that for me, uh, my clients weren't as receptive to it due to the um, the banging, the um, the the in the pain that it caused. I don't. I had to numb all my clients. Now I don't. But um, but yes, you will get results with your pro cell. But this is just a little more comfortable. So okay, so let's look at this one now. I have different protocols, right? You've seen where I've done once a month for acne scarring, maybe um, once a month for fine lines and wrinkles. Uh, but now let's talk about hyperpigmentation. This nice lady has been really a superstar in my practice. She has gone from so much hyperpigmentation to this. And I'll tell you how we did it. There were a few things that we did. And, you know, um, there's always... Um, some things that you want to discuss with clients. You're not just because you do the procedure doesn't mean you're going to get these results. So let me sh tell you how I got them. Um, and she's been done as a model in a few of my classes with nurses. So a few of you out there have 
um, had her in your hot hands for sure. So we did an exfoliating procedure first. It could be the microdermabrasion for two passes, a light microdermabrasion. When I'm doing um, dermafrac, microdermabrasion, and the dermafrac, I generally do two passes on the microdermabrasion. I'm not as um, aggressive that way uh, because I want to do a light exfoliation because we're going to exfoliate and infuse with the dermafrac. So we generally did uh, a two-pass microdermabrasion or a dermaplane, which many of you out there do prior to your dermafrac, which um, is a great procedure and clients love it. Um, I went ahead with Lighten Serum every single treatment with her because I needed to get that kojic acid right there at that 0.5 millimeter depth for best results. Um, so we did four passes on the face plus kisses and you'll see some video in just a moment on how I do that. And I did a, um, originally four treatments, two weeks apart. Now, I know a lot of you out there, um, and like I used to use ProCell, it was always a month in between. Well, you know what? It doesn't have to be a month in between. I've been doing procedures like this since 1993, and you can do them more often. But what happens is, the trappings of numbing a client, sheet masking, having a client in your office for an hour and a half does not sit well every two weeks. But if you have a procedure that's only taking 30 minutes, that's a much more favorable approach to a package. So if you say to your client, let's give it like four treatments or even three treatments. It doesn't matter. However, you like to do your package because you can always add another treatment on at the end. If the client is seeing favorable results, they're going to say, yes, let's do another treatment. So clients don't always like to hear that big number. Oh, well, let's do six treatments, you know, at $350 because it takes so long. You have to charge $350. No, it's going to be a much more concise um, uh, efficacious, and your client won't break the bank. Okay. So you need to do that. Um, so what you'll do is you'll charge in my office, it's a $200 procedure. So, oh, okay, Penny. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Uh, so what you'll want to do is this, uh, $200 per treatment. You can charge more. This is just what I feel comfortable with my clients. So I'll do a $200 per treatment. And then the week, and I'll charge $200 a piece. So that would be $800. But I want to sweeten the deal a little bit, but I don't want to cheapen my dermafrac treatment. I don't want to take, um, I don't want to cut or discount that. But what I will do is give my client some more service. So I will do a dermafrac treatment, say on a Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I have them come in for a quick five-minute peel. And I use the Dermacell Peel Kit. Very, very easy to use. Um, you'll see some video in our group how I use it. But that only takes five. The client's not in the office more than 10 minutes. And then they'll come back the next Wednesday for their Dermafrac treatment and so on and so on. I include that peel every other week in their... Um, package. This way I'm not discounting the package, but I'm offering them more service and I get to see them that next week. I keep them involved in their treatment. So the more that you get your client to um, engage, like using this nice client did also use a Dermacell peel kit and it's something they can use at home. And generally for me, this was, this is after the um, dermafrac treatments are over. This way they can still engage in some peeling at home because they like to come in once a month. So I like for someone like this that had that much um, hyperpigmentation to keep up the good work, to do something at home. So um, Dermacell has a great home peel care kit. 
and I would highly recommend it, but not during their treatment phase because that's too quick. You know, you're doing your dermafrac treatment. You might do a, um, a quick peel in between. There's no room in there for a home peel system. It would be after your, um, your dermafrac um, package is up. So again, that's $200 per treatment. Four treatments, $800. You're going to include a quick little peel and it's got to be a gentle peel. This was um, with kojic acid. You want to do something that's efficacious for the client's concern during that. And when they see the results, they are jazzed up. My client also uses the uh, Definage Home Care, which is very easy, but make sure that your clients are on your good at home products. And this is the Dermacell Professional Peel on the left. And then on the right is the Client Take Home Peel System. And it keeps them in the game. It keeps them paying attention to their skin. And uh, regular use will keep them clear. So this is just the same lady. This is how she progressed. So you'll in, in our group, you'll see the progression. You'll see more videos of her. But um, back in the day, she was coming for about four. She came actually for five treatments, a, a, a fifth that she wanted to get more results. So this bottom picture of her before and after was just last week. And I haven't seen her in my chair for probably three months. She's been traveling busy, but she's still been using her good at home skincare, her SPF and her home peel system. And this is, I snapped a picture at our local uh, tavern one evening and there she was. She was very happy with her results. As you can see, there's still some hyperpigmentation, but you know what? If we control our clients' expectations and they are happy, then we've met all the expectations. So don't uh, don't be way up here with your expe expectations and tell your acne um, scarring client they're going to have super smooth skin. No, they're probably always going to have some topography issues, but they're going to be much improved, uh, developing a higher self-esteem. And that's what it's all about. So we can help our clients. But yes, didn't that little grandbaby just, he was wowed that his grandmother had no more brown spots. Anyway, she, she was an awesome, awesome client. Um, next time I get her in the chair, I'll see if we can do a little video and see where she is now. But um, she was a great um, hyperpigmentation client. Let's see if I want to show you so how some of these, a, a um, a how we actually class. worked this. And I think this was me doing her procedure. So doing the straight up um, horizontal rolls there going all over the skin. And this is what I would do four passes on the skin, vertical, horizontal, diagonals. And then I would go ahead and do more of um, focused microneedling. And the only reason I'm going down, usually I'm always pulling that up um, from the bottom of the jaw up. But I just wanted you to see this is because of the way the camera was, I couldn't get my hand in the way I needed to. So um, this is probably one of those videos, a uh, video don't do, but there was really no harm or foul because I was still lifting of the skin. But you know, any of the procedures that we do, we always like to come down from the bottom of the face and lift on the way up. But because of the way my camera was, it just was too hard for me to get that in there. So um, let me see. So I turned it up to five now. And so I'm going to get into that area really, really um, a little bit more. So this way you can see that she's getting more red in those areas. She's not twitching. So you can see that it doesn't make it any more unbearable or really hurts. But um, but they will they will feel a lot pricklier. But if you look at the eyes, the eyes say it all. And she wasn't twitching. And let's see some more of these kisses and like maybe more some more. You can see up close. This was um, maybe, oh, this was one of our uh, nurses helping out during a training. 
Next week she'll come in and, and I'm she'll rolling it on five, it'll only take five which is deeper, to do. which can get it in and there deeper. The but look, office. so many uh, great kisses right on those hyperpigmented areas. And you'll see all of her before and afters in the group too. And you're more than welcome to use those, uh, especially those nurses that have been to the uh, office. Use them and you can put your name on them. Anybody else, just leave the watermarks along, but feel free to let clients know what it is you can do with your dermafrac. I want to make sure so everybody gets the word out. Um, okay, so I'm not going to bore you with this, but this is what some of her hyperpigmentation looked like. And um, you will see it in its entirety. So when you come back to this, a uh, slideshow and you go on YouTube, just go on YouTube and on my channel, just put the word in dermafrac and you'll get a lot of great videos that you'll be able to mimic, watch all those, all that good stuff. So this is just a little bit more of her, but um, at this point, oh, there we go. We may have had enough of her. She's pretty awesome. Okay. So let's get into a little bit of a protocol regarding hair growth. So in my travels all over the, the microneedling, microchanneling world that I've lived in, I really haven't done that much hair restoration. And there's a few reasons. It really is something that I really couldn't quantify for a few reasons. You know, um, clients come in and they have a little bit of hair uh, growth that needs to be addressed but they would have to come back for multiple treatments and they weren't really, they were hesitant because they really wanted to see the results. And there have been great strides made in hair restoration besides microneedling, which does work. But again, it's a layering of modalities that help the effort. So um, now in my practice, I've had to change around my, um, my intake form because I'm doing more hair growth, uh, restoration with my dermafrac and it's a real easy, easy, um, sell. And this is what I do. So let me just tell you the, the protocol for this. So, okay. Um, this nice lady is an awesome client of mine. And some of you maybe have worked on Betty in my office. And more recently, we've done two um, hair restoration treatments. So I would use Rejuvenate or Growth Factor 0.5 multiple passes and kisses. And I would do that treatment once a month. And I also couple it with the Definage 150 serum. Now, there are other serums out there. You don't have to message me and buy it from me. You can actually go to Definage and you can become a um, distributor or buy it, whatever you like. But there's other products out there too. Maybe some of you have a line that you're already using that have hair growth. And like I know the people out there for ProCell because I had the hair growth serum, but I didn't really use it. I actually gave it to some people because I wasn't doing the pro cell treatments for the hair growth. The reason I'm doing a lot more hair restoration is because now on my updated intake form, besides, you know, that famous little quiz I have, um, of course, do you have uh, any new medications, any new surgeries? And do any of these minor skin imperfections bother you? You know, I rattle off for the skin classic, the skin tags, brown spots, broken capillaries. And also on that same blurb, I am putting in there, um, do you have any hair loss due to um, cancer treatments, hormone therapy, anything like that? So when they check that off, if I am attempting to get them into my dermafrac world, well, I know that I can chat with them about hair restoration without embarrassing them about maybe some bald spots here, maybe around the crown, anything like that I can have at them. So I can incorporate the hair restoration treatment with their facial treatment. No longer do I feel like I need to try to get that client in just for hair restoration. They're a lot more um, questioning about the treatment. But if you can 
add this on to an already treatment in progress, they are more likely to want to do it. And my clients use the Definage. And within two weeks, they're calling me, sending me the best pictures that they can send me regarding their hair growth. But they're getting results. They're referring their friends and their family. This nice lady's daughter was the gal with the acne scarring. We actually went in and did some hair restoration during a training. Two weeks later, this was her picture. And let's see if, oh, well, I'll show you her picture in just a second. But let me show you how I use the we Definage or any other serum that you guys have. Myself. This is what you'll oh, nice. Um, You know, you put it into the scalp. Any serum is pretty much like this. Um, like some of you may have roller um, options. And my client actually <laughs> takes this Hide out with a bit. them yeah. so I can use it on their scalp directly. Um, and so let me... Mm -hmm. I, I apply a nice uh, ample amount of it, even though Oops, I had man. serum oh. in my canister. Let me see if I've got the, let me, wait, wait, wait. Well, we'll see the actual Oops, procedure so in head. just a second. Uh -huh. This was her daughter. So the picture was from her daughter that took the picture at home, but she was so thrilled. Her hairdresser was thrilled. They couldn't believe the difference in the hair in two weeks. So when your clients get results like that in two weeks, it keeps them on their care plan, which I didn't have a care plan except once a month for these clients. And that's all they need. I don't feel like I need to go in there and do it every two weeks because they're getting results. I'd like to wait that full skin cycle, follicle cycle, and uh, assess it at that point. And they can do it once a month. I don't I don't need to uh, see them excessively, but this is the daughter of the nice lady you just saw before and she couldn't believe it. So she had to have her mom come in. Okay. So also with um, Dermafrac, besides, uh, you know, I have a great group, but also I'll be able to help you out with some social media, also some studies that are in our group. One of the studies, you know, uh, is stating that 0.5 is really that sweet spot. So when you're chatting with your client, you'll have some ammunition. If they say, well, wow, why aren't you going 1.5? You know, I've, I've heard that's probably the best depth you need to be. Well, no, it's not. And you'll have some uh, substantiated papers. You'll have information so that you can be locked and loaded when you're explaining things to your client. And as well, you'll be able to use our uh, social media ads like this that I post in the group. You're more than welcome to share them. Uh, let's see how I manage this protocol. So um, I don't know if you have seen this nice lady, but she has been um, a client and a model. And she has uh, been very, very diligent about her aftercare and coming to the office. Um, so I have a few questions. Oh, contraindications. Any contraindication that's normally for microneedling, any type of skin integrity issues, any type, if they're on any type of um, uh, chemotherapy, anything that you would not like um, grade three to four acne, even grade two. I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Some people might do it. So there are some in, uh, contraindications and more of those are in our manual cath. So go ahead and give that a look. See, and uh, Melissa wants to know, do I have clients that come in every four to six or eight weeks for ongoing maintenance? Oh yeah, absolutely. So Melissa, that is the beauty of Dermafrac. So it is a treatment that the clients love. It's not something they fear. It's not something they have to really get their guts up to get numbed and do all that. So it can be part of their treatment protocol throughout their time coming to your office. So no need to say, okay, well, we've done your package. Now, you know, well, maybe we should do this or that. Keep them doing Dermafrac. 
I can't imagine any other procedure in my office that instills good skin health as much as Dermafrac because of the infusion of the serum and just the punctures, the, the cascade of what the skin can accomplish at that 0.5 depth when it comes to fibroblast, collagen induction. It is amazing. So that's something that my clients do on a regular basis. And yes, my clients might come in once every two months, maybe once a month, maybe once every four months. And they and I will definitely suggest, highly suggest the Dermafrac over any other procedure that I have in the office. And for those of you that are doing skin classic procedures as well, you've been in my office many times, you've seen me do the Dermafrac immediately after that without my skin classic, tune in a couple um, capillaries or maybe a few keratosis on the side of the face. Guess what? The skin is in awesome condition at that point. So anything I do for the client is going to heal beautifully. And that's a great time. So you can combine that treatment at that one particular time. And Kathy, that's important for you because you do have both machines and can uh, incorporate it at the same visit. This nice lady that you see a picture of here, we actually did that during maybe one of our trainings. We did the um, Dermafrac and immediately we did some DPN treatment around her eyes. We also at one point did some acne cysts at the same time with the Skin Classic. So that alleviated some of the cystic acne after the Dermafrac treatment. But we didn't go over those cystic areas with the Dermafrac, just with the Skin Classic. So I have video on that. You'll wanna see that in the group for sure. So let's get back to her protocol. I knew that the Dermafrac was definitely gonna help her lighten her skin. So I suggested Dermafrac for treatments, two weeks apart, and a Dermacell peel in between. And that is a great protocol for someone like this. I use the Lighten Serum. I would do either the Dermaplane or a two-pass microdermabrasion. She's got a lot of sebum in the skin. So I know that one of during one of her treatment uh, four treatments, I did use the Clarify and it worked really nice on her skin. She didn't have breakouts that next time, but for me, I had to choose Clarify or Lighten. I knew it would be the Lighten. Her skin was taking on a different appearance anyway, because she was taking care of it with the um, Dermacell peel in between the Definage skincare. So everything was looking hunky dory and I still wanted to do more lightening in the skin. And you've got to be careful with your clients too. Now, um, sunblock is important. This client doesn't regularly use her sunblock. I see her almost every day as I say hello going into my community. Um, and so I can see sometimes she's gotten a little red on the weekend from having fun in the sun. It doesn't seem to affect so much her hyperpigmentation like it would someone with melasma. So she's still okay, but I think she would maintain a better, um, smoother complexion if she used more SPF. So sometimes it's not always a win-win, but I think it looks pretty good. She is super happy with the way her skin has progressed with these treatments. Um, yeah, so Nancy, wow, that's uh, good to know. Two treatments at the same time. Yes, Dermafrac and Skin Classic. Absolutely. I do it all the time. I may not do it on my very brand new client unless I know that they've had these kinds of procedures in the past, maybe microneedling somewhere down the road and they loved it. I know they're going to love this even more because it's more comfortable and just the results are just easy, easily uh, to come by. 
So yeah, she was pretty awesome. This was a little bit of a progression of her, her very first visit with me and her very last visit with me just um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can see in the middle picture, she's thrilled and her skin has just taken on a whole different look. So besides the hyperpigmentation, just look at the way the skin is more evenly uh, um melanized. Uh, it just is a lot less sebum in the skin. Yes, she's she really is really thrilled. And uh, many of you have seen her in my office. So that's beautiful. So this is a red carpet ready treatment. I have this one here. So you can pop back into this video again, go to my YouTube channel, pop in Dermafrac on it, and you'll see the videos that do come up. Um, I don't know that this will You'll start out on like her decollete, slurp, slurp, gurgle, but this gurgle. is a 0.25. This nice lady doesn't have sensitive skin, but she has 10, 10, more on the pinker powder. side of skin. She's got some broken capillaries mm. in her cheeks okay, from okay. time to time. So how okay, would I okay. handle this nice lady? Well, right now I'm using a 0.25 uh, millimeter with hydrate serum on her. We're giving her a red carpet so ready treatment. This, you can um, see that I'm moving the roller and sometimes on the, the forehead wheel, because of the bumpiness, like many of you, sometimes skin, we struggle with keeping the, the roller the, engaged um, the because of the bump the in, the, so in the forehead. Nice but I wanted you to see mm -hmm. how, um, how I do it. And sometimes um, you might have to shorten your strokes and I want, I want to go down and, and I did her every... face, neck and decollete. So let me see here. Remember it's gravity fed. So you want to try to hold your, um, your, your hand piece up. And again, I had my camera in a weird spot. So that's why my hand piece is going down instead of coming from the bottom of her neck up. You want to sweep it up, sweep it up, and that way you'll keep the gravity fed hand piece with the serum coming up. It'll and it makes for um, a nicer procedure too. You're going to get more serum in the skin, mm -hmm. and then the decollete again. Now we've got the hand piece in the right direction. And we're going our diagonal and our horizontal or either way, but you can do two passes. And I'm getting a full red carpet treatment out of one syringe doing two passes, two passes, and two passes. So it's just up to you You'll how that, you like, utilize slurp, slurp, slurp. and figure out how you're going to like to do this the most. Okay, so my um, my video was out of sync here. Here is the video on how to do the hair restoration. She's, now, she's got like coarse um, hair on Because there is still a little hair in like the that. area, uh, I like to do the kisses because I can get right into yeah. that area oh, really? at point five. I am using it up to the level of five. It this it part of the forehead is curl. very really? resilient and the client Jeez, does not really, uh, it's not as prickly as it is yeah. does that work up good on her? the front part of the bone. So here, yeah, I'm, I'm doing anything clearly. I can to now. get all of that she has serum in there. I've already bathed the, the area with the yeah. so 1-5-0 definage serum. And now I'm just making a clean sweep. This lady was amazed at how much hair she had growing and um, even at her age. So you'll be able to do a lot more of the hair restoration. Just make sure you put that question on your questionnaire so that you can freely talk about it and then offer that. And what I would do, I would charge more for that especially if you're she's, giving them the like serum to go home this. with. Yeah. Well, Remember, a like lot of our that. procedures are layered, right? Oh, yeah, so the they need to have some, some people yeah. use monoxidil oh, really? shampoo. Hers They're using um, our it's serum here. It and really we're getting like deep into curl. the follicle really? with our rejuvenate. Or here I was using the growth factor serum. 
Uh, and so again, you know, in our group, uh, you'll always be able to get like email blasts for your clients. This was the latest one I did just last week that you can go ahead and use this verbiage, rearrange it, make it your own. But we have the video that goes along with it. Um, you can use ours, you can make up your own, but it's just that easy to pop this in and you need attention getter when you're um, trying to get new clients for your procedure. But the best way to start is within your, is within your practice. Let your clients know that this is the most comfortable procedure ever with this type of result. And this way, they're more likely to raise their hand and say, I'll try it. When, when they know they don't have to be numb and they know what kind of results they can get, then they will raise their hand. So you definitely need to go ahead and um, start within and get all those clients like I did off of the other procedure and doing a much more efficacious procedure. Only takes 30 minutes, which is what my hydroderm took as well. So uh, there's no lost time. It does cost more for the dermafrac, but the results are well worth it. So here was the uh, wording for that if you come back to the slideshow and you need it. Now, um, last but not least, here are the um, all of the ingredients that you'll see in your um, serums. So they'll always live here. You'll be able to get them um, in my group as well. But, you know, the uh, you'll have the um, growth factor serum, the hydrate serum, and again, the hydrate, very, very tiny hyaluronic acid molecular so that it gets deeper into the skin and it will hold all that water. The kojic acid in here is unbelievable, as you have seen with the hyperpigmentation. Rejuvenate is what I use on all of my mature clients that have fine lines and wrinkles. I want to get into those um, 11s. I want to get into the crow's feet. I want to get into any line and wrinkle that I can after I've made my four passes, I really make sure I get back in there and really get a hold of them. Um, the vitamin C. Okay. We didn't talk much about the vitamin C. A lot of you people may really want to incorporate vitamin C. However, um, if I'm trying to brighten up skin, any of the serums will actually give a brightening effect. And if I'm really trying to brighten skin, it's definitely the lighten serum. So I'm not someone that reaches for the vitamin C, um, on a regular basis, but for those that want to incorporate it, you might have a vitamin A um, pr product that your clients are using at night and you want to get that vitamin C really bolstered, boosted into their skin, then this would definitely do it. Um, the Clarify, you'll see the salicylic, the citric acid, the lactic acid. So all good for those um, types of things. So um, whoop, there we go. So um, I hope that that did help. Let's see. Um, oh, you like that carpet ready protocol? Yes. 0.25 and two passes on the face, two passes on the neck, and two passes on the decollete. And another reason why sometimes we call that a red carpet ready treatment is because you don't want to be on the red carpet after you've done a, um, a procedure like that and just have a, a pink face. But if you're pink here, pink here, and pink here, then you're matching up all the way to the red carpet. We don't want to have different skin tones and colors when we're um, going to a party, showing off our decolletes, things like that. So that was great. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate that. And um, so if you have any questions, and again, for those of you that are maybe tuning in for one of the first times ever, make sure you go to my Dermafrac group on Facebook. You will learn a lot. You'll see other people's work before and afters. And please post your before and afters there and let's celebrate your wins and get onto my YouTube channel, my LinkedIn channel. You'll see them here as well. Hey, oh, you're welcome, Joe. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
And um, so if you guys have any questions throughout the day, make sure that you hit me up. And if you um, are so inclined to want your dermafrac, do not hesitate to call upon me for our latest special and, um, and any new protocols that may come up. So I will see you all later. Uh, take a look at the slideshow again. I hope that helped all of you newer people out there. And for those of you that are thinking about the dermafrac in your future, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.